Hi, this is the Weekly Horoscope for Cancer for the week of January 9th, 2023. Hello, my fabulous crabs. Show your love and support to your girl Marie by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And this week we have the Lilith Moon moving into your second house of money. So at this time, if you would like a reading from me, check out my link in the description box below. So problems arise in your life when it comes to money. You're likely to blame others for your money worries at this time in actuality it's not their fault your your own self-defeating behavior in some way is contributing to your shortfall in your income so keep the energy positive stay in your routine at this time be about your social life and try not to focus on the things that you can't control the good news is that you can break the cycle once you acknowledge and discover the ways you in which you are sabotaging your financial success so for some of you you can be your it could be your own damn fault okay and you could be your own worst enemy at this time so be careful with this it is possible that your self-esteem is somehow linked to your monetary challenges perhaps you need to value your skills more and change jobs maybe even help yourself with on-the-job training or like learning a new skill you may be procrastinating on business deals at this time or even procrastinating on opportunities that may become available to you and it could be a situation where people don't serve you things on a platter you just kind of have to you know it's the squeaky wheel that gets the grease and you could be just like you know well they didn't offer it to me therefore I shouldn't take it you know you should ask and you should let them know and, and ask them if they're you know letting people grow at this time or are you afraid of taking financial risk or are you afraid of like transferring or doing things that you have to do to get yourself a better paying job okay um, are you overspending compensating for a lack of self-esteem and happiness whatever the scenario you're able to face truths and create more financial freedom for yourself you and your loved ones at this time Jupiter is trining Lilith moon second and tenth house this can be good news in regards to career you can be receiving a much needed confidence boost um, this could be business picking up or you could be receiving some much needed um, good news in regards to getting a job raise promotion happening or getting pay, paid to go back to school by your job you may make it a point to grow and jump onto any opportunities that are becoming available to you at this time on Tuesday, relatives and siblings can be demanding on you emotionally at this time. They may use emotional blackmail or it could be very manipulative. Profound changes affect your emotional well-being. You may experience difficulties with the women in your life or your mother trying to control you and your relationships. Sometimes this could be endings coming up at this time or not getting along with certain females in your life. There is a lack of support. You must become very resourceful. The, over, the overall theme for your life at this time is learning to let go and becoming more independent. You may have, um, you may form important partnerships with powerful individuals. A partner could be going through a life-changing event at this time, or a friend could be, and it could be affecting you. You have proper motivation that and the ability to apply your energies intensely, so when the opportunity presents itself, you're able to use it to the best of your advantage. You may gain from others' losses, and it could be your win, or for some of you, this could be an inheritance coming through for you. Wednesday, your sense of taste may be questionable. You may acquire things that later wonder, why did you get that? Okay, put off large purchases for another time. You can have um, buyer's remorse. You may discover that you paid too much or it wasn't what you needed in the first place. You're honest, intellectual, generous, and usually open-minded. An outgoing enthusiast and optimistic nature are usually focused. Um, for some of you, religion, philosophy, legal, social, and community affairs can be the focus. You're able to gain others' help because of your positive and altruistic nature. You usually succeed at what you attempt, often bringing financial, mental, or emotional wealth benefits come through the men in your life and you have an extra share of good luck you're never completely down and out and since spiritual forces protect your basic happiness and safety so sex success in financial matters can happen as well for some of you you can be showing off your wealth on on the 11th as well then on the 12th 3.56 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Mars goes direct. This could be useful for spying on others at this time or getting to the bottom of certain situations or trying to catch somebody in the act. 
what you do now often goes unnoticed. You can be working secretly, secretively, or you could be applying for jobs secretively and not letting other people know at this time. Whatever you're doing at this time, you're very quiet, you're very hush-hush about it. Your values are changing as a result, and you may be selling some, some of what you own. Be careful of the finances. You may have an urge to make many friends and, and may take a role as leader in the group. You may wish to impose um, your will on associates. You can be putting pressure on yourself at this time with this energy and this could either be something heavy on your mind at this time or maybe you have too many directions that you can go into. Too many options or too many opinions at this time trying to help you with this energy. For some of you this could be like going to college at this time and you're trying to figure out what you want to do or your life purpose. This could be a confusing time for you and you're looking for your life purpose, but at the same time, you could be feeling the pressure of picking a college and then picking a major, and it can be very confusing for you. Um, let me see, the 13th, you're not so quick to jump into anything new. You can be talking to someone new, but it could be more talk than action. It could be more intrigue and getting to know this person, which is fine because Mercury is in retrograde still. This is usually a fairly positive influence upon your career, so as long as you don't make promises, you're not willing to deliver or not willing to keep. Avoid imposing yourself on others coincides with awkward social situations that can lead to embarrassment, especially at parties or social events. If you're the host of a party, make sure your plans are realistic and that things do not get out of control. This could also be a social situation where unseen cultural issues become the source of a clash between groups at this time, usually not serious, but it's like ser serving hamburgers to a Muslim. Okay, you know, and they don't eat that or like serving pork to a Muslim, you know, it's like they don't eat that or even yeah so you know so just be aware of that try to be aware of social customs of others especially if you're traveling to a foreign land you may not be getting along with the women in your life especially those that live outside the home this could be plans not working exactly as planned you have some emotional changes that you need to make with the self and have uh, have to start having a different conversation with the brain, putting away the blame game at this time, and stop throwing tantrums about what you can and cannot have or cannot control during this time period and taking it out on other people. So this is a time where you kind of need to kind of calm down, relax a little bit more, get out of your head, and let go and control. And know that everything that doesn't work out, if plans don't work out your way, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, it's disappointing, but it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a really freaking good thing because what happened if that night you were supposed to go clubbing and God forbid there was a drive-by shooting or God forbid, you know, you got stuck in the middle of the night, you know, and your car broke down, you know? So, you know, everything happens for a reason in life and you don't need to go to every event. You should be appreciative of the times that you can't go someplace because sometimes it's a blessing in disguise. You'll find that the party was a bummer and that everybody was fighting and that you're happy that you didn't go, you know? You were better off at home or nobody showed up to this party and it was just a couple of people and people that you didn't even like. So, you know, see the blessing in the situation. The first card I come up with is the world card. Traveling coming up, some much needed good news happening this week for you as well. The six of swords. I feel for some of you here that, I feel like for some of you here that you could be haunted by your past, Ugh. you know? For some of you, this could be allowing your past to kind of affect your future. So I would be really careful with this at this time. For some of you, this can be traveling coming up with this energy. Stay the hell, of it. Stay the hell away from your head. It's not the place to be. The King of Swords, you can feel grounded with this energy. You can be analytical in your way of thinking at this time. I feel for others of you, your thinking is a lot more clear, so this could be a great week to make decisions. The Ten of Cups, yeah, you have a lot of clarity here. You're very analytical. You can be too serious at this time. Um, you can feel a little bit lonely at this time, so make sure to make it a point to reach out to other people in your life. Make it a point. Remember, the phone works both ways. You know, 
make it a point to call people, all right? For others of you, you can be a strict parent or a boss at this time um, with this energy and creating rules and boundaries for other people to follow this week. The Knight of Coins, I feel for some of you here, this could be money worries or this could be getting another source of income at this time as well, okay? So for some of you, you could be getting another job or there's another um, or there's another residual income coming in for, for some of you or this could be a positive time for investment opportunities to start making money for you okay the two of wands the energy itself begins to move forward at this time so this can be a busy week for you um, this week the seven the seven of swords uh, there could be I would say out of the gossip this week with this energy because the gossip could get you in trouble at this time as well or this could be a very confusing time with the gossip and you could be trying to get intel and information, but y'all don't know what exactly transpired or happened. It could be a situation at work where stuff went down at work, and you could be dealing with like a Capricorn manager, and nobody wants to talk about what happened because this per the Virgos or the Earth signs that at work said be quiet about it, not everybody needs to know about it, and stuff like that, and people were fired and stuff like that. So the tea could be very delicious, but nobody is talking at this time so you may really have to do some hunting and investigating um, I feel like for some of you here um, I feel like this is a beautiful time for options to start pay, pay, um, coming up for those of you who have applied to jobs you know this could be jobs calling you back and you may have options with jobs so then the question is who pays the most is gonna be your dilemma and finding who who will pay you the most at this time okay so you could pick and choose from the offers that you are receiving during this time period for others of you this is you're gonna make the right move you're gonna make the right decision so don't worry about it you know so pick and choose what you need to do at this time and trust your intuition the four of wands I feel that you could be in better spirits this week um, for some of you it can be a work and home work and home energy for others of you the focus is on home life and being with family or spending time with family spending time with mom and dad with this energy especially mom with this energy new beginnings new people coming into your life this week as well the page of wands I feel for some of you here that you're definitely dealing with your children this week and children could be a handful with this energy, you could be very cerebral and in your head and lots of thoughts of future. Or you're getting excited about um, future at this time. So 2023 could be very pretty for you with this energy. I feel like for some of you, you could be doing your research into certain projects that you want to do. Um, your creative juices could be flowing at this time as well. For some of you, you could be more invested in your community and doing community projects at this time. For others of you, you could be entertaining at the home this week with this energy and spending time with friends or hanging out with friends this week. The Eight of Wands, definitely more quiet and cerebral and in your head this week. For some of you, this is good news coming in. This could also be traveling coming up at this time with this energy. I feel playtime is the best time to get your creative juices going with this energy as well. I do feel like for some of you here, you can be staying more to yourself at this time and just being very much invested in your head. So try to stay the hell out of your head. It is not the place to be this week, but for some of you, you're very contemplative, you're very quiet and to yourself, okay? The um, Empress card, for some of you, the focus on mother um, energy or mother-in-law at this time can be more of the focus as well. You benefit through the women in your life. I feel also you could be pleasantly surprised this week as well with this energy. The Nine of Swords, Buyer's Remorse, okay, it's matching with the astrology, the tarot. So I would be careful with certain purchases that you make at this time with money because you may regret your decision later on and it could lead you broke and you could be thinking damn it i shouldn't have done that um so just know that okay so i see that happening here as well for you the moon card i feel like for some of you here um you could be romanticizing certain relationships during this time period or certain alliances that you have with other people with this energy you could be romanticizing at this time so you know talk is super cheap don't believe everything that you see or hear with this energy as well because people may tell you what you want to see 
or here or just to get you to do something during this time period so all is not what it seem what it see yeah what it seems so you know i would be careful the knight of swords yeah don't believe everything that you hear somebody definitely lying to you at this time okay somebody's pulling the wool over your eyes if you are looking at people's resumes i would make those phone calls because somebody, you know, may be claiming that they're this, that, and the third, and really they don't know how to do nothing, okay? I feel also with this energy here that this is a creative time for you. You have a lot of influence over other people at this time. You're very analytical in your way of thinking. Don't be so giving with this energy. You could be very gullible at this time, people taking advantage of you. So if you're planning on giving people money at this time, you're not going to see that money back, okay? So don't expect the favor to be returned. Alrighty, so just be careful. The judgment card, major decisions are coming up. For some of you, you could be dealing with court with this energy as well. Um, I feel for some of you, you can be, you can find your creative calling. This could be with writing, working on TV, film, radio, or social media. Um, in media for some of you you can be dreaming about success for others of you it can be more about your social anxieties at this time so be careful with that energy the ten of swords a reversal of fortune can be happening for you um, with this energy a great time for teachers for others of you if you have to give testimony in court it's gonna be heard loud and clearly and they're gonna take your testimony very seriously at this time or if you witness a fight going on at work or involved in a fight they're gonna to take what you say very seriously okay and stuff and they're gonna hold the other person accountable so know that the um, six of cups you can be sentimental about the past there's a second childhood coming up for you so this is new beginnings new people coming into your life for some of you this could be getting a job at this time with this energy for others of you this is a lot of things that you're manifesting that are coming to fruition so this is a beautiful time for the law of attraction and the power of prayer um the eight of swords here i feel like for some of you here this is confrontation happening this week i feel that you're really going through it emotionally at this time so whatever is coming up at this time you need to let go of certain bones and you need to heal and let go and move on from certain situations that you have been gnawing on the bone for such a long time on and you need to let go of that stuff okay because it's not hurting nobody but yourself okay um, and you're really really in your head at this time with this energy you may not be able to handle being reprimanded or criticized for what you're doing at work with this energy as well so be careful with that you could have a nervous breakdown at work this week because you're taking things way too seriously so try to reflect try to use this time as a time of applying the correction and moving on you could be standing up for yourself as well with this energy but you could be doing it in a creative way I feel like for some of you you can be looking back on your past mistakes that you have made in the past and this could be more of a time of reflection for you this can be a busy week for you as well. The Ace of Cups tells me that you're moving in the right direction at this time as well. For some of you, you can be receiving some kind of emotional validation with this energy or this energy can bring about healing. The Nine of Wands, yeah, you're worried about something. You're coming into something new at this time. For some of you, this could be money worries happening, but I don't really see that happening. So keep the energy positive or you're just like insecure about things that are going on in your life. And a lot of things are up in the air because a lot of the planets are in retrograde at this time. So, you know, you're not going to hear back from a lot of people at this time with this energy. It's not until Mercury goes direct, Uranus goes direct, you know, check out the monthly horoscope to find out when everything goes direct. But when these planets start going direct, then we're going to start seeing a little bit more movement. And then when the planets in Pisces start moving into the sign of Aries, we'll start seeing a little bit more movement in regards to career. But you have Juno coming into your 10th house, so you do benefit through other people with this energy. The Three of Wands, I feel like for some of you, you're spreading your wings at this time and taking risks, applying your own talents with this energy here um, as well. I feel for others of you, you're moving away from a bad situation 
or some people that you don't like, you could be moving away from them because they make you depressed. I feel for others of you, you're definitely dealing with your emotional tar. There's a lot of resentment here. There's a lot of jealousy or you angry about things that didn't happen and stuff like that. Gnawing on the bone about things. So I feel like this could also be reconnecting with people from your past and people that you don't necessarily want to talk to and deal with. And you're not over certain things. Maybe a lot of good is happening to them and you're getting super jealous about it, okay? The full card, you're kind of going against the grain at this time and kind of doing your own thing with this energy. I do see new beginnings happening, a blase blase kind of energy as well. The Knight of Cups, blessings onto the universe for you. But again, you're not being logical about things with this energy. I would focus on your passion projects and focus on the things that make you happy at this time as well. And the Seven of Coins. This is um, something heavy on your mind, but at the same time, you may not do it. And you may have to initiate the changes. So you may not be initiating. But looking at all this mental anxiety and in all this emotional tar, you're not doing anything about this, okay? So you have to initiate it, but until then, nothing is going to happen, okay? So you have to initiate it. Whatever you're worrying about is more in your head and in your reality. I feel like you're very much, you know, for some of you, you could be more about getting lit at this time, which is making you delve into all this negative emotions here. And also, for some of you, you're more about your fantasy life. You're avoiding certain responsibilities during this time period. Okay, you're avoiding taking initiative. Maybe you're dealing with your emotional attachments, emotional attachments to your job, afraid to move forward. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And also, if you want more, check out um, my consultation page. I am available um, for readings starting Monday, so be sure to check that out. Kisses.